I just want to clarify that I'm all for revitalizing faith in America. I think that's what will save America. But I don't think it has to come with all the rules that religion hands down because that those many of those rules they come from man. You know, the the leaders and experts of the church or the leaders and the experts of the Bible. We are if if we take the time to uh understand the Bible the best we can by reading it, by talking to God. And I said many times, talking to God is praying um, and, and doing everything we can to walk a selfless, not selfish, but selfless, L-E-S-S, life, then, um, then we're doing God's will, in my opinion. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm no expert. I'm not a, an expert in um, the Bible or a priest, none, anything like that, or pastor, but it, it, that I'm saying that from experience. That, um, you know, how many people do we know that really try to do the right thing? And I, I fall from it all the time. I mean, it, it's, I talked about this in many of my videos about the, the justifying of, you know, our poor behavior at times. But that's why I say to have a moral foundation, it takes having faith, believing in the Bible and Jesus. And because there's it's historical evidence of all of that. So I'm not trying to go after anybody. I, I didn't like Doug uh, Billings uh, saying, you know, that um, I'm abandoning God. Um, I totally disagree. And I, I wasn't even saying anything. I, I, my comment was more about telling him, like, don't, don't use God. Don't use God if you're trying to push an agenda. Like, if your agenda is to push faith, then, yeah, great. But if it's to push everybody, in, you know, to herd everybody into a religion, then, to, no, let, let help people to understand that there is a, you know, there is God. Jesus did walk the earth. Teach those teachings. Um, but don't, don't, don't use God as a political tool. I, I, I mean, I, I know it all goes hand in hand to some degree, but then it's just pushing your views in a way. And I mean, I guess we all do that to a certain extent, but what I'm saying about what, when it comes to faith is that, um, just read the Bible, um, just and if you want to go to church, do that. I, I, I'm totally not against anybody doing that. Um, I'm just trying to give my opinion to the fact that I've had so many people that absolutely have said to me, no, I, I can't, I, I won't, God won't save me. God won't love me if I don't, if I don't do this. I, my pastor told me, like I've heard that so many times from people. I mean, I used to hear it all the time in AA. That's the reason why there's so many people that when they got sober, they would, t we would talk in the meetings about the experiences with the Catholicism. And it could, it, you know, if you want to, if it could be a tool that was good, but it, it seems to me it's been pretty broken for a long time. And I'm not just saying that based on one experience. I'm saying that based on many. So I've never, I never followed the Pope. I could care less what the Pope says. Okay. Any of them. Because it's man. And, and, and I don't think that God sees one man as higher than another or one woman. You know, we're, we're actually all equal in God's eyes. So I'm not trying to go after anybody. I just don't think it's very fair for somebody to say that you're abandoning God. If Where in the Bible does it say that I'm abandoning God if I don't go vote? Or if I... Um, my civic duty is to my fellow man and to help those that are suffering. That's my civic duty. Does it mean I am not going to do anything and go vote? No, it doesn't mean I won't go vote. But this is how man ends up kind of distorting things. We all do it. It happens to all of us. I just think that we need to keep it simple and keep the religion out of what Jesus's true message was for all of us. We're all his children. He sees us equal, all the same.